Hey guys, this is the hike to the Devil's Chair, which is a really cool one. It's in Angeles National Forest, but it's on the northeast side of the forest. So it's right on the border of the Mojave and uh, mountains. And the mountains are up there, and the Mojave's over there. And right here is actually the Devil's Chair, which is a little outcropping, and you can check it out. That's how you come down. And you can see you're right actually on the San Andreas fault line. So the light colored rocks and the dark colored rocks are different, uh, I guess, plates or something, tectonic plates. And that's the fault line right there. So there's a lot of uh, natural beauty here to, to take in. And it's one of my favorite hikes actually because it's not super busy. It does get busy occasionally. And in the summer it gets really hot because you're essentially on the edge of the desert. So don't do it in the midday in summer. But uh, it's really beautiful and it's not too tough. It's about seven and a half, eight miles. And there's some up and down, but there's no big mountain climbs. It's a really beautiful hike. It is a bit in the middle of nowhere, um, but it's, it's fun. It's a beautiful drive here. So as always, just go to hikingguy.com and I have the maps and parking information and all that fun stuff. But otherwise, here are the turn by turn directions. So on the far um, left-hand side of the parking lot is a visitor center. And on the far right-hand side of the parking lot up here is the trailhead. And you're just gonna go straight through on these trails. Here's some little side trails to picnic areas. You're just gonna keep going straight. The trail is pretty well marked. Um, should be pretty easy. There are two trails down here. There's a uh, one mile little loop trail, a little discovery loop, which is awesome. And I recommend doing on your way back. Um, but also uh, the Devil's Chair Hike, which is what this guide is for. So you're just going to go straight, avoiding the picnic areas. And you'll start getting some uh, glimpses of the scenery off there to the left. Sorry for the shake here. This lasts for about another couple seconds, and then it'll be done. After this section, you'll see this hike board, which shows you a map of the loop trail and also a map of the routes to Devil's Chair. And you're just going to keep going straight here. And as you go up on this section, again, off to the left, you'll have uh, great views into the Devil's Punch Bowl. At this point, there's a little bench. You can do a little diversion off to the left here and take a seat, soak it all in. You're actually on the San Andreas Fault here, and then you have a lot of uh, erosion from all the water coming out of the mountains. So a lot of very cool geological formations. Here you can see them again. Otherwise, just keep going straight. The trail kind of climbs a little bit. It's all very gradual. There's nothing really steep here. And at this section, you're going to join into the uh, fire road here, which joins off from the right. And you're just going to keep hiking straight. You're going to keep hiking up here. There's a couple little splits. At this one, you're just going to stay on the right-hand side. Hike around. You can go on the left-hand side. It'll rejoin eventually. Um, but just hike on the right, which is the main trail. And then keep going straight. There's a big junction here. Well marked, as you can see. And you're just going to keep going straight. At this point, you're also on the Pacific Crest Trail, which is a pretty cool thing. And you'll have views, once again, down to your left into the uh, canyon. Here you can see some trail markers. Just keep going straight. Now when the climb is done, you're going to head down um, around the bend here. And if you are traveling in the winter, there can be snow and ice here, so uh, just watch your footing. But you can see the trail bends around there, and you're just going to keep following it. And then eventually on the other side, you're going to climb up and you're going to get some more views as you come around the bend here into the punch bowl once again. And it is beautiful. Now there are some narrow sections. You can see the trail here it has a little man-made help. And again, if it's snowy or icy, just watch your footing here. It can be a little narrow. But the trail is well marked and well worn. It's a popular trail for locals, 
as well as hikers and trail runners and all the normal crowd that you'll see out here. At this section, you're going to bear to the left here. You'll see there's a little trail down to the boulder if you want to take some pictures, but otherwise you're going to go up along this ridge and keep going straight. And you're almost there. At this point, you're going to go downhill a little bit and uh, eventually you reach the trail junction sign here and you're going to go left to the devil's chair. And there is a little uphill section. Again, this is not a big mountain climb. There's just some ups and downs, so it's a, it's a pretty easy hike. And you're going to go straight, and then eventually the fence will show up. And you're going to follow the fence line towards the devil's chair. And again, you'll get awesome views into the fault. And you'll be able to see in the distance there the different uh, rock formations. And this is a section that goes down to the chair. And I will just show you this in its entirety because it is a pretty cool... Um, experience and here you go you just follow the fence all the way out onto the chair and this is how you do it So that's the hike. Again, if you want to do it, just go to hikingguy.com where I have all of the information, uh, including this video, maps, and all that fun stuff. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, if you could do me a big favor, and just click that little thumbs up button. It'll help other people find the video and uh, do it safely. So thank you in advance. And yeah, Devil's Chair, it's a fun one. So uh, definitely do it at some point. All right guys, see you out there.